Welcome to the second part of our tutorial session. Okay, in this tutorial session, we are going to look at question number 19. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed already to make sure that you get all the videos the moment that we upload them. Okay, without wasting any more of your time, let us read the question. Okay, the question reads as follows. Uh, a manufacturer estimates that when Q units of a certain commodity are produced, the total cost will be C, which is given in rents, where C is equals to uh, Q square over 25 plus 80,000 minus 104Q. Okay. Then here are the follow up questions. Uh, use marginal analysis to determine the production level at which the cost will be a minimum. Okay. That's question number one. Question number two, they say determine the minimum cost. Okay, so how do we go about solving this problem? Let me take this and remove it from your screen. Okay, so the first question says we must use marginal analysis to, to determine the production level at which the, the cost will be uh, a minimum. The cost will be a minimum when producing an extra, an extra commodity will not in result in an increase in the total cost. So what does that mean? Okay, so it simply means that uh, we need to we need to we need to we need to determine the um, what do we call marginal cost and the marginal cost function and then equate the marginal cost function to zero and determine Q. Okay, why are we equating to zero? Because the, mi the minimum is zero. So like adding an additional uh, commodity okay producing an additional com commodity will not increase in what in uh, a, an increase in your in your total cost so the total cost increase will be zero at that particular time okay so let's 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 determine the marginal uh, okay marginal cost but how do we determine the marginal cost okay to determine the marginal cost when given a, a function, whether it's a linear function or a nonlinear function, the only thing that you do is you differentiate that. So let us differentiate this term. So here is the definition also your, uh, okay, I need this, okay, uh, okay, it's okay. So your marginal, marginal, marginal cost, uh, equals to the derivative of what uh, of your total cost function so here it will be the derivative of what of Q which is of C with respect to Q okay how then do we go about uh, doing the derivative of, uh, of C okay so what we have we have okay we're gonna do like the term the term separately we have uh, Q Q square over 25 we're gonna which is equivalent or equal to 1 over 25 and then we have Q square so when you differentiating a term like this um, okay you, you simply take the compo the, the exponent of Q and multiply it by the coefficient of Q so we're gonna have we take these two multiply it by 1 over 25 this is the co coefficient of Q. Okay, 2 multiplied by 1 over 25. This becomes 2 over 25. Okay, then we subtract 1 from the exponent. In this case, it becomes Q because you're going to have like uh, 2 minus 1, then it's 1. And then if it's 1, if the exponent is 1, we don't write that 1. Okay, then we move on to the next term. The next term is what? is 80,000 so this is a constant it just falls away becomes zero okay so we're not gonna write that then we move on to the third term the third term is uh, minus uh, 0 or oh, 104 oh, 104 Q so we do the same thing remember we have one here so we're gonna take this one multiply by the negative 100 and 104 and then subtract one then we're gonna have one multiply by this you have minus one zero four okay then you say Q you say one uh, remember you you multiply then you subtract one then you say one minus one one minus one this will give us zero any number to the power zero 
any number to the power 0 is equals to 1. So we just have minus 104 multiplied by 1, which means it's your minus 104. So the derivative of, of C is uh, C prime, okay, Q equals, uh, then what do we have? We have 2, 2 over 25, uh, uh, Q, okay, uh, minus, okay, 1, 0, 4, okay. So now we have to solve for Q, okay. Solving for Q simply means, uh, and then you know, we, we, were, we were told that we want to determine the value of Q where the marginal cost is equal to zero. So this is your marginal cost, okay? Then we can equate this to zero. Then you're going to have zero equals uh, 2Q. So I'm rewriting this like in a 2Q over 25 minus zero 4. So to solve this, we're going to have to, you take this 104, you move it to the other side, then you, okay, so you're going to have uh, 2Q over uh, 25 uh, equals, See, when you move, you move this to the other side, right, if you're moving that to the other side, it jumps the equal sign, then the, the sign changes, this sign will change, okay, now you're going to have, this is equals to, Hundred and four. Uh, this is hundred and four. So now to you need to get rid of this. You need to be left with only only Q here. To 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 remove this, multiply both sides by the same thing. You're gonna multiply this by twenty five over two, and then also multiply this by twenty five uh, over two meaning you, you haven't really done anything. So this 25 will cancel this, this 2 will cancel this. Now you are only left with Q. Q is equals to uh, 104, 104, or multiply, multiply by, okay, uh, okay, maybe I should have calculated there. Okay, what's the correct answer? Okay, multiply by, okay, let me write it again, it's fine. Multiply by 25 over 2, uh, which is equals to 1,300. 1, okay, so this is the value of Q when the marginal cost is equals to 0. Okay, so uh, remember, this is the first part of the question. We're not done. What about the second part of the question? They say that we need to determine the the, margin, the minimum cost. What is the minimum cost, okay? So we want to determine the total cost at this, uh, when the quantity is 1,300. 1, so what you do is uh, you take this Q value and then you subtract it to the original value. Now we want to determine the cost, the total cost, okay, where the... The, 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 the cost, okay, we want to determine the total cost at minimum, the minimum uh, total cost for this uh, production level, okay, or whatever. So, yeah, you take that value, you put it there, then you're going to say, this is C1300, okay, uh, equals, uh, remember, the original equation, not uh, Q, we replace Q with uh, 1,300, we have determined Q, 1,300, put square over 25, okay, plus uh, 80,000, okay, minus uh, 104, okay, 104, and Q, which is 1,000, okay, uh, 300. Then you, you take your calculator, you punch it in, or you type it in, and then the answer that you will get is uh, 12,400. 12,400. So now you have both uh, answers. So the production level is 1,300, and the minimum cost is 12,400. Okay. So we are done with this question, okay, watch the next video to, 
uh, see how to go about solving uh, question number 18.